I'm heavy cuz ball to your fathers, you can duck to the Fetty Gov. Sorry, my love, but I'm seeing through these eyes. Ben's convoys with the wagon on the side. Only big boys keep deuces on the ride. Get you Chuck Taylor with the dragon on the side. Man, I make a buck while I scram. I'm trying to show y'all who the fuck I am. The Jews is flirting me if I'm hurting. Special presentation of the NBA on St. Patrick's Day. This is Kevin Harlan with my partner Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. Doris Burke is on the sideline. Houston Rockets here at home in an interconference matchup should be a good one. And now we take a brief check of the matchup. Our starting five for both teams. And one of the guys we'll be seeing in this one, James Harden. He's gutsy. That's what I really respect about him. It seems like the more pressure there is, the more he enjoys the moment. But he is the guy you want taking the big shot at the end of the game. And I know he's a fan favorite because he can catch fire immediately at any point in the ball game and just start pouring it in from all over the place. And they're looking forward to some production from Terrence Jones now that he's back. Kevin, you know, injuries can really be tough. Pain, the rehab, the monotony, not being able to help your team out on the court, all of that weighs on you. I'm sure he's excited and relieved to be back in uniform. No, no question, Clark. He's been working so hard to get to this point. And uh, when you get injured and you have to sit out for a while, it just really makes you appreciate uh, getting back onto the court. So the Orlando Magic able to put the first points up on the board. And Beverly gets to a reason. Six on the shot clock. Johnson against Harden. And he gets it to go. James Harden Clark voted by a majority of NBA GMs last season as the number one shooting guard in the entire league. Really hard to argue that, Kevin. I mean, he's an elite scorer, second in the league in free throw attempts per game last season, and he's also a really, really good passer, able to make his teammates better because he draws so much attention, and he's a crafty and willing passer. They grab their own miss. Howard has the open look, and the first shot of the night for him missing. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Well, Kevin McHale gave me a few minutes to catch up with him. Getting out in the open floor and exploiting his team's speed is an area of concentration for him. He said that as soon as we get a rebound, we want to get it to our guards, get off to the races, and we want this basically to come down to a track meet. Sounds like we should be in for a wild ride, guys. Thank you, Doris. Nice pass. That one was right on target. For the Houston Rockets, they come into tonight following a loss to the Clippers in Los Angeles. Well, they heaved up a lot of ill-advised three-pointers in that loss. Guys, they were way too trigger-happy from downtown. Yeah, and that's not the area on the court where you want to be forcing shots from. Heck, you were a great three-point shooter, and you know that, Steve. Yeah, I mean, it comes and goes, but you can't just rely on that when, when things aren't going your way. Jones with the screen on Johnson. Can't convert after the good screen. I thought he'd make that one. I mean, that's his range, and the defense nowhere to be seen. That's good. They're off and running. Good start here. They've knocked down four of their first five. It's Harden with the drive, and taken away by Johnson. And the shot falls short this time. You just assume he's going to knock those down when he's as open as he was there. Everly with the ball. Now Peyton defending. Beverly dishes to Harden. Harden left side. Six to shoot. And he throws it down hard with one hand. He has a highlight reel unto himself, guys. Yeah, wow. that, that could very well be a contender for dunk of the year and perhaps might make his way all over the internet. I'm wow. with you. I'm with you, Clark. That's a crowd pleaser if I've ever seen one. And at 4 or 5 now, a nice start. I mean, he looks ready to make an impact offensively. So far, so good. 
screened by Howard. Now here's Beverly, averaging nine points per contest. Magic leading by four. Johnson, the pass to Vucevic. Good work defensively by Jones. Looking at the last game for Orlando, it was a loss to Cleveland. In a loss like that, guys, you've just got to flush it down the toilet and put it behind you. Yeah, you do, Steve, but it's much easier said than done. I mean, it's hard not to dwell on the type of poor performance it was for them. Well, the Rockets, wouldn't you say, are really to be commended, Clark, for rebuilding this team without tearing it down to the studs or taking it, if you will. Yeah, absolutely, Kevin. I mean, they've improved dramatically with Harden and Howard. But this is a team that's held the winning record in the West now for eight straight seasons. Mm. That's pretty impressive. It is. Here's Beverly. After the made shot from Johnson, Ariza kicks to Beverly. And some nice passing there by Houston. Harden dishes to Beverly. Here's the three. They get it again. Here's Howard. Banked in off the glass. It's a great play under the boards for him. And, you know, that's the standard that he sets. It seems like all those second-chance points, I mean, they're there for him game in, game out. Peyton drives in. And it's Johnson. That time on the assist by Peyton. Peyton's got three assists now in this one. And the Rockets show great patience and planning over time, freeing up cap space, acquiring young assets. That enabled them to trade for James Harden and, of course, attract White Howard to the free agency, too. Now, here is Harden. 23 points for him the last game against the Clippers in Los Angeles. That is good. D there, guys, was pretty much non-existent. I mean, you can't leave a good shooter like that open. Here's Peyton. After the Rockets pick up three, he kicks it to him. 17-foot shot on the way. And that one hits back iron. He had a defender draped all over. Not really the best shot there. Well, not the shot you hope for when it's well contested like this. That puts them in the lead. Ariza's got five now. And this Rockets team, for all of its success, is still young, still developing that chemistry, but make no mistake, they've elevated themselves from playoff contender to potential potential title contender. I think exciting times are certainly in score in Houston. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. And we're about a minute into the second quarter of play. Fournier passes to Johnson. Down low. That is good. Rockets trail by nine. On the court for Orlando. Johnson, he's in at shooting guard. Tobias Harris is out there with Gordon. Then there's Luke Ridenauer, and it's Fournier in at the three. Johnson attacking. You know, Kevin, he's their rock defensively. The guy all his teammates look to to set the tone at that end of the floor. And, you know, he's earned that designation in that respect because of the tenacity and intelligence he has as a defender, guys. The respect they have for him is off the charts. The Magic making a switch here. Vucevic just checked in. Evan Fournier out of France struggled with his shot early last season, but he rallied somewhat down the stretch. Still very young with an impressive skill set. He's definitely a player to watch. Now here's Ariza. He has five. Another miss by Houston. He hit a three in the first, but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this court. And then Johnson with the dunk. Well, now they're just going to town on it. Yeah, you'd think these defenders would have done a little more to put a stop to that stuff, Kevin, but so far, no go. Well, a phenomenal aerial assault there, fellas. Here's Harden. The shot is off. Great D that time from Johnson. Harris, right side. Ridenauer. Good. And Harris gets the assist. Harris has got three assists now in this one. Oh, man, they are just putting the hammer down right now. <laughs> Defensively and offensively. It has all been working for him today. Now here's Howard. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against the Clippers in Los Angeles. And a phenomenal showing on the boards. His rebounding was a huge factor. Here's Ridenow. Following the basket by Dwight Howard. Harris kicks to Johnson. And the rebound goes to Howard. Rockets trail by 13. 
Beverly dishes to Howard. He feeds it to Beverly. Shot on the wing. Off the left rim and out. You know, he just hasn't looked right to me. A bit out of sorts, if you will. Something's off with his mechanics. Um, at least as I look at it. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Now you got to make a defensive adjustment here, Clark. Time to collapse inside, force the ball back out in the perimeter, make them beat you from long range. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Well, Kevin, Patrick Beverly could make the case for being the league's most disruptive defender at point guard. He said, quote, I know some people might not like my defense, but I don't really care. I'm physical, I'm tough, and I'm setting the tone. I don't look at the numbers. I just go out there and I guard everyone exactly the same. And that's aggressively, Kevin, exactly what they're looking for. He gets after it. Nothing easy. Thanks, Doris. And so it's Houston with it. The Magic getting the button. Feeds it to Jones. Pass to Beverly. Houston moving it around. Ariza sinks the triple. Ariza's got eight points. Boy, I tell you what, he loves getting looks like that from the three-point line. No one near him. That's a warm-up jumper for him. Peyton, he's checked in for the match. Kicks it to Gordon. At 10, coming off an assist from Peyton. Yes, sir. Gordon's got his second bucket of the game to go. I don't know what's happening to their defense. I mean, they, they don't have any effort, any purpose. And it's really costing them. I mean, the last five baskets at that end have been on very easy looks. Now, here's Beverly. He has six. Jones picks to Beverly. Just five to shoot. Rebound by the Magic. Vucevic has got his third rebound tonight. Yeah, they look totally disjointed. And sometimes you have a night like that. Nothing goes in the basket. It's pure frustration. Well, you can call it any number of things, Steve. Disjointed, disorganized, discombobulated, dysfunctional. Any of those would fit. Marnani has checked in for Vucevic. Gordon off a pick from Johnson. Shot off the screen. Another miss by Orlando. Yeah, no excuses there. Got a really good look at the basket after being freed up by the pick. We say it all the time. The execution was excellent. The result not as good. But good ball movement anyway. Now Peyton. After the miss three from Raymond Felton. Peyton passes to Gordon. Shot left block. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. And the Magic lead by 18. Now they've done a great job of getting into the middle of that defense and scoring in the paint. Well, and that's why they're on this run, guys. They're getting the ball inside and getting really high percentage looks. For three, Felton. The shot is off. And Orlando will come the other way. Johnson attacking. Felton with the ball. Averaging eight points a game. Harden. It's Ariza on the wing. And it's good off the back rim and in. Ariza's got 10. Here's Orlando now. They're on a 16-7 run. Outside Gordon. Johnson sends the screen for Gordon. Addition out to Nicholson. Back to Gordon. He passes to Johnson. Another miss by Johnson. You know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. Harden inside the three-point line. And it's Orlando with the rebound. Johnson goes in. Gordon. Johnson with a screen on Harden. 13 feet away. And that one's good. Gordon's got four points now in the quarter. Get a break in the action, so let's take a look at the West and how the teams are stacking up. You look at Portland. They are the favorite right now to lock up the number one seed come playoff time. Sitting in first place right now and not looking like they you know, are going to be slowing down at all. And, of course, Houston down four spots from them. Seeing where the Rockets are, they've clearly put themselves right in the middle of the playoff pitch. Yeah, they're about where I thought they'd be at this point. But the fun part is seeing what they're able to do come playoff time. You know, it's going to be an uphill battle, but I think one that they're looking forward to. Johnson right side. And it's Johnson again missing. Rockets trail by 18. 
James Harden with those rush hour handles, whether it's breaking his man down in isolation or running the pick and roll, he keeps that thing on a string. Now, here is Harden. He's got seven, Felton. Rebound by the Magic. Johnson's got four rebounds in this game. It seems like nothing is falling for him this quarter. He's really out of his rhythm. And Harden, a left-hander. Defenders tend to have more trouble, it seems, guys, with softballs. Well, especially with Harden because of how crafty he is. He's got that Manu Ginobili Euro move, the change of speed, change of direction, and then the strength. I mean, that's what separates him. He draws contact and seems to just go right through players. Adrian dishes the belt. It's Harden with the drive. Johnson with the block. Gordon against Ariza. Gordon kicks to Johnson. Drains it from 17 feet out. Johnson's got 10 points in the quarter. That's a clean look they gave him there, fellas, and he drains those. Outside, Felton. Passes it to Harden. Back to Felton. From downtown. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. And that's now seven points for Raymond Felton. Magic leading by 19 points. Peyton outside. Johnson. Misses the step back jump shot. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. Magic lead by 19. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of the third quarter. Now, presented by Sprint. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And welcome back as we continue our St. Patty's Day broadcast. We're seeing a tremendous game from Garbage Man. Yeah, it's been a lockdown defensive effort from him through the first two quarters. He's just swatting shots away. Well, the reach and the timing he's shown to get to some of these shots has been really impressive. He looks like he has telescope arms out there. He's like an octopus. <laughs> Harden and Ariza out on the perimeter. Terrence Jones out there with Jeff Adrian. Then it's Felton in at the point guard. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. Back to Harden. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. Oh, oh, oh. The rapid-fire threes coming from everywhere. I thought it might be a little imprudent to try to get those points right back, but it worked. Now let's send it to Doris on the sideline. Thanks, guys. Garbage Man in their last game against the Cavaliers had a huge game. He ended with 22 points and also did some work on the glass, grabbing a few rebounds to help out. This outing just the latest from him in what has been an incredible display of basketball. And thank you, Doris. It was a performance that has to have their upcoming opponents terrified for her. Well, I know this opponent should be terrified because there's a good chance the momentum he gathered that night carries right over into this game. Well, some of it will carry over. That's inevitable. It's just a matter of how much. Puts one up from 19. Adrian with the rebound. Adrian's got five rebounds tonight. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. Felton kicks to Adrian. Poked away and taken away by Johnson. With the lead pass. Here's Peyton. Hits the jump hook. They are not rotating nearly quickly enough on defense down low. Got to get quicker there. And even if it costs them some foul trouble, I mean, they need to start putting some bodies on bodies. Be physical. Jones kicks to Harden. Pass to Felton. Back to Harden. Jones sets the pick for Harden. Lock at six. Plenty of space. And it's Houston with another. 
Nothing but money for them to start the match. They've made all three of their shot attempts. Let's take this chance to look at the teams that have been the league's most efficient passers this past month. The Magic in second. The last few weeks have shown these guys that being patient with your passing can earn you some easy looks and baskets. Excellent teamwork. The more you do it, the more you're rewarded, and it becomes contagious. Johnson with a screen on felt. Peyton passes to Johnson. Count that one. Johnson's got 24. Superb assist there. He played the role of the maestro on that one. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Felton kicks to Jones. The three from Harden. Nicholson grabs the board. Now still a great start to the half after hitting their first three, even before that miss. Johnson can't get it to go. No breathing room at all to take that shot. Now Felton, seven points in the game. Harden, back to Felton, on the wing Harden. And that comes off the assist by Raymond Felton. And that's 13 points for James Harden. Well, you know, starting last season, the NBA added a 3D camera system in every arena to track movements on the court. And some of the shots that those cameras get are remarkable. They can measure just about anything you can think of, and it's opening up a lot of different ways of measuring and dissecting the game. Another example of the overreaching arch of analytics. On defense, the Magic. James Harden getting it to go from deep. The feed now to Adrian. Back to Harden. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. James Harden, Harden doing it all. He's got 13 yeah. points. And from downtown, he's buried three three-pointers. Yeah, when he's been able to get squared up and get a good look at the basket, it seems like everything's been going in. Boy, his free throw shooting, just another reason. He's such a good all-around player. Outside, Gordon. No good with the triple. Rockets trail by 16. Right side, Felt. Releases from the wing and drills. Felton's got nine. The Magic have gone 4-7 to get things started here in the second half. Johnson the screen. He dishes it to Nicholson. Connects in the foul line jumper. He has six. They're spraying him home from mid-range today, guys. Yeah, reliable weapon, and that's a sign that the offense is working. They're really moving the ball well, finding good opportunities. Now, here's Felton. He's got nine. And the pass to Harden. Back to Felton. No good on the triple. Nobody near him. He'll normally make that one. And it's Johnson penetrating. And the shot is good. Johnson's got 26 points. And you can feel the, the pattern of this game, you guys. They're, they're working it inside, dominating in the paint, getting good shots at will. Well, four of their last five baskets, guys, have been of exactly that variety. Harden, no good. Orlando leading by 18. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Over the last month, let's see how the Magic performed in the NBA statistics. First in field goal percentage. First in fewest turnovers a game. And they're number two in assists. This is a team that loves to share the basketball. And the shooting is really what stands out to me. This is a team that, that does such a good job of finding open looks. They're unselfish. They work offensively to create good shots. And when they do that and they're on their game, they're tough to beat. Houston's gone 2 of 5 with a three-point shot since coming out of the break. Let's quickly take a look at the standings out east. The season nearly complete. You look at Chicago. They've continued to play strong basketball, if not utterly dominant, as the last part of the season grinds toward the playoffs. And it looks like, guys, they'll hold on to that number one spot the whole way there. And, of course, Orlando, just a couple spots back. Checking out Orlando, they've continued their breakout season. I mean, they've showed tremendous promise thus far, and I'm looking for big things from this team. Yeah, Clark, as the postseason approaches, there's plenty of optimism, but as you know, the playoffs are a whole different animal. Let's see if they can continue that momentum. 
And we've seen a few mix-ups defensively out there on the perimeter. More than a few. I mean, the open looks they've allowed from long range have turned into a lot of points. Now here's Gordon. He has seven. Payton. The Magic again can hit. Harden outside. Kicks it out to Ariza. Outside, Jones. From outside, off the mark. Well, they've only got a slight edge in rebounding when you look at the numbers, but it certainly feels a lot bigger than it is. Well, the score has a lot to do with that, Clark. Just based on that, you'd think the rebounding gap would be huge. Now, here is Harden. After the miss from Johnson. A three. Harden's shot is off. Orlando leading by 17. Bargnani sets the screen for Gordon. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Gordon's got five points in the quarter. Well, I tell you what, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. They're not getting the job done. Yeah, that's 10 of the last 12 points they've allowed on good looks right at the rim. It's Harden with the drive. Adrian, back to Harden. Harden left side. Tries from 10. A rebound by Johnson. Johnson's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Gordon dishes to Johnson. He kicks it to Bargnani. Just a, an amazing game for Bargnani. 12 points. And he's picked up six points from behind the arc. His outside stroke has looked really good today. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Orlando? They've knocked down plenty of mid-range jumpers in this one. That's been big for them. The other thing that's been huge for them is their points in the paint. They're getting the ball inside and converting on a regular basis. Felton goes in. Dishes to Jones. Outside for Felton. Houston moving it around. And there's Ariza. That's good on the assist by Felton. And that's 13 points for Trevor Ariza. Mm, they are killing them with that three-point shot here in the second half. Well, the defense fully stretched out trying to stop that shot and still not able to get it done. Here's Nicholson. He's got six. Good. Johnson. 30 points for Johnson. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Yep, that's five of their last six baskets inside the lane. They have really established themselves inside. Felton the pass to Adrian. Harden. He feeds it to Adrian. Houston needs to get a shot. Off. Shot by Boast. That's good on the jump shot. Harden's got 10 points here in the second half. The points just keep coming for him this quarter. And just at the right time, too, as they try to narrow the deficit. Ring shot on the way. Not enough on that one as it misses. Difficult shot for mid-range, and the defense was all over. Boy, I like the close out there, Steve. Well done. The offense is getting right to the rim, but at least they saved the layup with the foul. That's old school basketball. Johnson kicks to Vucevic. Good D by Howard. Houston's gotten off to a great start from three-point range in the final quarter. They're a perfect three of three. And so in the game for the Magic, Johnson in a two-guard. Gordon and Vucevic, the big men inside. Tobias Harris is out there with Victor Oladipo. Orlando's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. Four of seven shooting. And it's on a balance to the Magic as Orlando will retain possession. Houston making a switch. Jones has checked in. Here's Johnson. Rockets with the rebound. Howard's got six rebounds here tonight. Jones with the screen on Oladipo. Howard dishes to Beverly. Jones the pass to Smith. Smith left side. Shot clock at six. That's tipped. Oh, and here comes Johnson all alone. Textbook example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yeah, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Yeah, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close.
Now here's Beverly, guarded by Oladipo. Just four to shoot. Ariza goes in. Johnson with the block. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Peyton, he's checked in for Orlando. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Pass to Johnson. Goes up with the stripe. That's in, coming off an assist from Peyton. Peyton's got his eighth assist here tonight. What a top-notch game he's had. He's gotten them in front, and it sure seems like he's going to keep them there. All by himself, it looks like. Here's Beverly, and he gets it to go. Beverly's got eight points here in this quarter. Magic leading by three. Johnson the screen. Peyton left side. And it's Harris off the drive. Back to Peyton. Six to shoot. Johnson. It's rebounded by Houston. Howard's got seven rebounds in the game. They'll host the Denver Nuggets after this one. They'll find themselves in the middle of this string of three straight at home. And Beverly kicks to Smith. Feeds it to Beverly to tie it up. Jones, no luck. All the defender had to do there was just stay close to him, and he did. Johnson down low, defended by Beverly. Vucevic, excellent D from Howard. He gets trailed by three. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. Ariza against Johnson. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Beverly. Here's Ariza. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Trevor Ariza showing increasing comfort with his outside shot. That really makes him a two-way player because he's always been a presence defensively. Long and athletic, able to guard multiple positions. Houston making a switch. Harden's checked in. And for Ariza, Clark, a great rebound. And we know he's a ball hawk defensive. Yeah, he really is, Kevin. He gets his steals but doesn't pick up cheap fouls. I mean, he stays in good defensive position and picks his spots. And I think he does a good job of studying his opponent's tendency. And don't forget, he's an underrated passer. So this guy has a pretty solid all-around game. Houston's glad they've got it. Not bad. Peyton drives in. Johnson guarded by Hart. And the shot is good from Johnson. He's locked in right now, guys. Hitting some big shots here in the fourth quarter. Ariza outside, fires for three, shot's good. Ariza's got 22. Well, as we move into the fourth, it's been an even game. Yeah, it has been. Neither team able to create any significant separation so far. Steve? Yeah, that's right, guys. Uh, the lead has now changed hands five times. Peyton dishes to Johnson. Lock at six. Harris outside. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Well, they were sleeping on defense. The defense really didn't do its job. I mean, a little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. That's costly. Well, and at this stage of such a tight game, I think this is when tired legs start to show. And the defense can become vulnerable in the low block. Now, here's Beverly. Tight defense on him. Harden. Kicks to Beverly. Back to Harden. Off target with his three. You know, something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound totals are, are almost identical. No separation there. Not yet, anyway. Houston's gone 4 6 from beyond the arc in the fourth quarter so far. Ariza. Now the dish to Howard. Houston moving it around. It's Harden with the drive. And that one's good. Harden's got 12 points here in the second half. You know, something we're seeing less and less of these days, that little finger roll. Peyton left side. Johnson outside. Johnson draws the double. 
Payton passes to Johnson. No good off the front iron. Houston in the lead. Back to Howard. Passes it to Harden. A floater. And it's Orlando with the rebound. Harris has got his third rebound on the night. He just has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it hasn't affected them too much. He hushed them up with that shot. Well, a huge bucket there in the stripe of the crowd. You're right. It's like they're stunned. I mean, they don't know what to think. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Kevin McHale coaching his team during that break. He said, no time to waste, fellas. We've got to pick it up right now if we're going to make a comeback and try to win this thing. Let's go all out. Back to you. The Rocket shooting in the fourth quarter has been efficient at 56%. To the inside. Reza. Yes! Huge points. That's beyond huge, Steve. I mean, they needed that but Desperate. Payton kicks to Johnson. Rockets pull it in. This may be their most important possession. Yeah, as long as they don't make a mistake here, they should be safe. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. And he ends up making the second, and that puts them up by five. Orlando's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. Four of seven shooting. The layup missed. Well, those chances are almost always two points for him. I, I guess the defense did what it had to do to bother him. He hits the first one, and that increases their lead to six. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a seven-point game. Good work at the line to stretch that lead out a little bit. And Oladipo kicks to Green. Sinks it. And now they trail by just four. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Yeah, you got to freeze the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. A few misses at the line, and they're in good shape. And the second of two is good. That puts them up by five. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Harris. From long range. It's off. So we see the Rockets get the win here. It was a solid win. Club. Coach singled you out tonight as having a great game in the loss. Does it help to know that your solid performance didn't go unnoticed even though the team couldn't pull out the win? It's nice to hear that coach thought I played well. It's a little bit of a silver lining, I guess, in what was otherwise a pretty frustrating loss. Coach has been doing this kind of thing for a while, though. He knows when it's the right time to praise somebody or get on them for something. And I guess he thought in this case a little positive feedback was warranted. So, yeah, I appreciate the comment. I just hope next time it can come after a win.